Yo, listen, man. If you donate to me on my Patreon, let me know on Discord and I'll add you on Roblox. Let's get it. All right, what is going on, guys? It's your boy Nano back in another video. And today, we're going to show you guys how to get started in the Shinobi Story MMO. So, character customization. It's a little confusing, but with a little practice, you can get it down. So, holding left click and actually, you know, moving the mouse left to right, you can see how you can see your player. And then holding the left mouse button on this little like logo down here and moving the mouse up and down you can actually move the camera angle too so as you can see there's 28 hairs that you can pick from expect more in the future we'll just go ahead and pick the naruto hair actually this isn't even naruto i think this is menma pretty sure this is menma but it's whatever okay so um here you go hair color you can choose right here all these colors over here you can pick or you can uh pick from the color wheel okay as you can see um if you want to have like a more precise color say that you like this color right here like you see that you have this lime green color but you want it a little lighter you can just pick this right here and then just uh click to your left so it's more on the lighter side see pretty easy right so so we're just gonna click this yellow here right here and i don't really like how it looks so we're just gonna make it like you know what i'm saying a little darker so boom there you go see pretty simple right your face is now this is interesting okay you can pick um scars that you want on your face as you can see um pretty cool we're not gonna have any scars though oh crap this is a bug actually so if you pick a scar on your face you can't take it off for some reason okay this is a bug in game right now, but expect it to be fixed soon. Yeah, we'll just go with Naruto whiskers, whatever. And then with the eyes, this is interesting, okay? You can customize your eye color. You can have blue here, and then, you know what I'm saying, like green here if you want to. Pretty cool, right? I know, it's pretty cool, but we're just gonna have both blue eyes. This is like the Naruto replica. You, by the way, you're zooming in and out too. You can see more of your character. Your headband. There's a lot of customization with it, okay? You can see, you can move around with the headband and stuff like that, so pretty cool. If you don't want a headband, just click off. So as you can see, these outfits are locked. I don't really know how to unlock them, but you can buy outfits in-game, guys. Or you can just go ahead and buy, like, the ones that cost Robux. So as you can see, this costs 350 Robux. If you want to scroll down here and want to buy an Akatsuki robe, it costs 750. Personally, I wouldn't recommend buying them, but... If you're a hardcore fan, then uh, go ahead and buy them if you want. I mean, the reanimation robe looks cool, but I'm not spending no 750 Robux on it. So you got me messed up. You go down here to accessories. They're not currently in the game, but they will be soon. Torso. This is like um, you're like little Madara and Hashirama armor, okay? So these actually go over your outfit, okay? They're meshes that go over your outfit. So if you want to buy like the little Madara Hashirama armor... They will be costing you 750 robux and then these flax right here honestly i don't even know how to get them to be honest with y'all so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys know how to get the flax let's see here your backpack they're locked don't know how to get them to be honest with you guys your shoes you can customize your shoes if you want as you can see thicker shoes less thick shoes and then your mask all these masks cost robux cosmetics but they're pretty cool i guess 350 robux for each man your spin system it's quite simple okay say you want akuma clan and you really want it you want to go and click on epic bid so you'll start off with three epic bids three rare bids and three common bids okay guys so i already have everything i've won i don't really want to spin out of any of it so just know that if you click on epic bid you'll have like six lucky numbers or something like that you'll have lucky numbers right here and if you get the lucky number, if you spin for the lucky number and actually get on the lucky number, you'll obtain the KK Kenkai, um, the element you want and whatnot. So if you really want a certain thing in the game, you want to go ahead and try to use an epic bid on it. Okay, so you can get it. If you don't get it, then you just have bad luck. Okay, I used all three of my epic bids on my main account to try to get Akuma and I couldn't get it. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just how the game goes, but you can get more bids in the future once they release new codes and OA actually came into my stream. The owners of the game came into my stream and said that no lie, bro. No lie. If I hit 50K by next week. Yes, guys, if I hit 50K by next week, I'll be able to get my own code. So uh, let's see if we can get 50K subscribers by the end of the week, y'all. 
Alright, so if you just started out the game, you'll see that there's four different types of game modes. We're just going to go into MMO, okay? That's all you got to worry about today, y'all. I'm going to show you guys how to breeze through the MMO so you know what you're doing. So, um, I recommend going to Miss Village, okay? It's, you know what I'm saying, a safe environment. It's easy to go around. It's nothing complicated. And, yeah, as you can see here, there's gonna be, like, a little dialogue and stuff like that. And, like, honestly, you don't even have to pay attention to this, like, little prologue, okay? So, we're just gonna go to the academy. And as you can see right here, you just talk to the teacher and, um, you don't even have to listen to the dialogue unless you want to. Honestly, I'm just gonna skip this part you can't skip it but as you can see it's two minutes and 30 seconds of introductory so you can just you know go do something real quick be on your phone for two minutes and then come back so you're out in the mmo now and the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to your inventory by pressing m and then equipping your kunai's okay equip your throwable kunai to two and your string kunai to three and as you can see right here if you press two you throw kunai's okay Holding the two button will allow you to throw three kunais, but if you just want to rapid fire them, you just spam two, as you can see, like this. And then the string kunai, if you actually throw it in a certain direction, you go to it, okay? Or you can spam at the ground for more, you know, movement and whatnot. So they're good to use, they're useful to use in like PvP situations, or you can just use it in like the MMO missions and whatnot. But just know your kunais are there, most people don't know that. First thing you want to do, okay, I know this looks all confusing, but you just want to go ahead and go to whatever is red, okay? So we're going to go here, and that looks like Shadow Clone Training. So we're just going to go there first and um, learn Shadow Clone Training. This is actually wall climbing training, and um, it looks confusing at first, but all you need to know is that you can't hit the branches, okay, guys? So watch, I'll hit the branch right here. Boom, I failed the mission, okay? There you go. That's an example of a failed wall climb training. So you want to use your A and W keys to actually not hit the branches. And as you can see in the top left corner, you actually have to do this for two minutes straight. So hopefully your luck isn't bad and you can do this in two minutes, bro. It's not that hard, y'all. You can use your little shift lock to like change the camera angle to see what's coming up instead of looking straight forward. That's what helped me because if you look straight forward, it's kind of hard sometimes. So by just you know manipulating the camera angles and whatnot you can see what's coming up next so you know where to go so it's pretty simple to actually do as you can see right here just manipulate with the camera angle by the way guys if you want to shift lock in this game the button is actually tab you don't press shift in this game it's tab okay so there you go look at this just manipulate the camera angles you can do this without shift lock too okay look at this i'm using my right click to change up the camera angles to see what's coming up next so I know where to go next. Pretty simple, right? So just do this for the next minute and I'll catch y'all later. There you go, guys. I completed the wall climbing and as you can see, a check mark is down okay guys so now we have to learn water walking and shadow clone like i said just go to the red dots or like the red overlays of the map and that's where all your trainings will be once you complete all of your trainings you will be rewarded two points and i can show you what you can do with those points all right next we got water walking and you just talk to the dude and to initiate this you just step on the water okay now you initiated the mission and you'll see here you just go to the water puddles okay guys it's simple stand inside the water puddles and be sure to press shift once so that you're in the sprinting animation. So there you go. The puddles will change like every seven seconds or something, guys. So you have seven seconds to get to puddle to puddle. If you mess up, then you have to start all over again. But there's like no way of messing up on this, dude. You literally have like seven seconds to get a puddle to puddle. So it's pretty simple. You have to do this 20 times. So I'll just meet y'all back once I complete this. I also forgot to mention that actually pressing X will make you dash forward. So... If you press X while running to the puddle, it makes it easier too, just in case the game tries to like finesse you and have the puddle way farther than you expected. There you go. We trained successfully. You can now water walk now as a shinobi. Boom. Just like that. It does take chi though. Water walking does take chi. And also, I forgot to tell you guys, once you learn wall climbing, pressing X will allow you to wall climb as you can see right here. And it does take your vigor. And to train these stats, guys, if you go to your inventory and look over here, as you can see, 
my climbing is at a zero out of 60 and you continue to train your climb by doing that mini game over and over you get one point every time and that's how you um increase your vigor whenever you want to climb as you can see it's low right now because it's zero out of 60 but if you want to climb for longer you have to train your climbing and you have to train everything else in these five categories right here if you want to become a great shinobi honestly i don't know what any of these five do except for climbing and endurance i'm pretty sure endurance increases your health and you can uh get endurance training by doing the endurance training that will be shown later in the video all right moving on to shadow clone training just initiate the training real quick and you have to find an open space area so just go out in the open and then now you're gonna start it it's pretty simple okay so this line right here, once the blue bar hits like the red line, then you want to click it. Okay, I'm bad at doing this. Hold up. Boom. Just like that. All right, guys, there you go. I completed the training and now you have one shuriken into your name. Okay, guys, what this means is you need five shurikens to progress to the next level. You're D minus right now. And once you get five shurikens, you can actually become D plus. So doing all three objectives will give you a shuriken every time. And as you can see, it also gave me two points. What you can do with these points is pretty cool. Okay, guys. So you press M, go to your menu. And if you don't remember the elements the game chose for you, by the way, clicking on this shuriken will actually close out the menu so you can see this. So anyways, if you don't remember what the game actually gave you, it made it pretty simple. So um, the game made it so that if things are highlighted in yellow or red these are like the things that you could obtain so we just bought it and we're d minus so we could have bought it and right here you can just equip it to a slot i'm going to equip to my r slot and as you can see right here guys you might have the points for it so iron coffin combo say i farm up six points you might have the points for it but if you don't have the rank requirement for it then you won't get it so yeah guys we can move on to our clan right here too if you have a certain clan which i do have i have the hoshigaki clan it's actually called something else in this game what is it called it's called wanezame i don't even know if i pronounced that right but it's pretty much the hoshigaki clan okay guys but you guys get what i mean if you have the certain amount of points for something but can't unlock it it's because you're not the rank required for it and like i said you can rank up by completing all these tasks and getting five shurikens to promote up to d plus all right boys we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do push-up training now Let's get it. It's called endurance training, by the way. This is how you train your endurance, but um, you pretty much just do push-ups. So it's similar to how shadow clones are, except the bar goes by way faster, as you can see right here. Now, if you hit it on the line, you get 30 points, as you can see. If you don't hit it on the line, then you only get five points. Now, most people, they just have an auto clicker. And honestly, you can just spam click the whole time and actually get it under the two minute time marker. But honestly, I want to do it quick. So a quick tip on how to get the 30 points every time guys so you want to wait for two bars all right two bars and then you click two bars click two bars click so you can time it more you know accurately so look at this two bars click once two bars are down you click as you can see on your third bar you want to time it pretty simple right pretty simple so you have to do this three more times and we'll just move on to the accuracy training real quick to show you guys how to do it okay we're here at the accuracy training and you just want to find an open space area so here we go we're in the open space area and the mission should start soon so with this one i recommend not having shift locked on and actually just using the right mouse button to move the camera so that you can aim for the middle every time boom you left click by the way to throw your kunai so just left click in the middle every time guys because left clicking in the middle will actually give you more points tree jumping is pretty simple you just go talk to him and it's honestly the easiest one yet so you just pretty much hold space and then let go of it as you can see right here boom let go of it now you can finesse it this is why i picked miss okay if you're in this one tree and you hold space and then try to go look you'll get teleported back okay so you can just finesse this real quick for the one time and sometimes it'll actually take you there so what i do is look watch this you just back up a bit and then hold space and then it'll take you back watch this mm, yep finesse or prodigy in the building what you know about this boy and then sometimes like i said again it'll take you back so if it takes you back hold on let me just back up a bit more like right here it shouldn't take me back now let's see okay now it wants to take me back okay whatever even if it does take you back you just pretty much just hold space and jump back and forth from tree to tree okay it's not hard as you can see all right there you go guys we completed the tree jumping and now as you can see 
to move on you actually have to do your endurance training two more times and accuracy training two more times so that you can complete the quest and get another star if you talk to this dude right here he actually offers you stuff from the store so as you can see right here um the shop refreshes every six hours i think just know the shop refreshes and right now i need to cop this gun by bro gun by cost 1600 i need to go ahead and cop that but as you can see there's items in the shop that you can buy that cost money and you can get money by completing the quest and completing missions you can also buy the weapons on the table as you can see right here now guard training seems to be like the most confusing for people so if you're in the mist map like i encourage you to do go to the blocking slash deflecting and you pretty much want to sprint to this corner right here okay and then you want to face this corner and wait until the mission starts boom there you go so once the mission starts you want to press x to back up okay you back up and pretty much all your targeter is going to be right here in front of you there will be some behind but there's barely any behind so if you want to you want to get into like a perfect corner to um see all the targeters as you can see so now you pretty much just face wherever the red is if the red isn't here guys then that means the red is over there so it's pretty easy to predict where the red will be now so yeah pretty easy right pretty easy you got to do this five times it's time consuming but it is um worth it at the end okay guys once you complete your guard training just go ahead and enter this d rank mission now so a lot of people are having trouble with the mission fighting the missing animal i'll just show you guys how to do it so when you spawn in just go to the logical path i'm not going to show you guys every map in the game but pretty much you just follow the logical path okay guys it's pretty simple to just continue and progress on throughout the whole entire map so as you can see with this map right here um you have to double jump to get over this wall actually you have to use climb press x to climb by the way guys boom there you go and then you just go to wherever is logical i mean it's not hard to get to you just find the missing animal and once you do as you can see right there it's the pig okay this is where people have trouble with the pig okay so once you get 300 cash from your missions i highly recommend getting a sword so you could actually catch the pig because bro this dude be running bro i'm telling you you can try to use your dash to try to get him in a combo there we go like this dude really be running bro i'm about tired of this pig bro come here wind bullets oh yeah okay so once you down the pig you press v to pick it up and now you have to go back to the spawn point now it says find scrolls which is optional i don't recommend doing that guys if you want to speed run this and rank up fast don't worry about these scrolls because honestly looking for them is a pain and looking for all 15 of them is more of a pain so just don't even bother picking up those scrolls y'all all right so once you go back to the spawn point you'll encounter these bears guys you want to press v to drop the pig and just spam click on these bears as you can see spamming left click on these bears just makes it easier to wipe them and then once you do you just press v again and go on with your day and continue to the spawn point so once you're here pretty much all you have to do is press v again to drop the pig and then you completed the mission as you can see the mission isn't glitched guys a lot of people have trouble with this and it's pretty simple just like that so that's pretty much it for your mmo journey guys i'm not going to show you everything else just learn everything else on your own you pretty much got the beginning basics down I wish that it actually gave me a different mission than finding the missing animal to show off. But pretty much, there's only two types of missions. Finding the missing animal and actually just progressing through the actual map. So, um, the other mission is just, you progress through the whole map. And, like, in the middle of the progression, there's going to be, like, bears that spawn in. So, you have to kill those bears. And then, once you do kill those bears, you can progress through the map. And then, there'll be an end spawn point for you to end the mission. It's pretty simple. And I also forgot to tell you guys about dusting the village it's pretty simple you guys will actually get that mission soon and it's not that hard to do it you literally just have your sweep and you go over to the like the dust mark so yeah man if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like comment subscribe for more hopefully you guys can progress in your mmo journey i'm out peace